Ali with the Putnam County District Library. This week, we are looking at 10 Windows shortcuts. I actually will have an extra one or two thrown in throughout this presentation, but we're going to start off with, um, we're going to look at some Word um, shortcuts, which are often used in other applications as well. And we are going to look at some uh, web browser shortcuts. So we're going to start off today looking at con the control key is what we are going to be hitting most of the time with different keys to do these shortcuts. So I've got in front of me a blank document, but I want to show you how I then have um, document two and document three here. So I'm going to go to document two where I have some information. And I have this information typed up. If I do a control A on my keyboard, that is going to select everything that is on this page. And then I can do as a second shortcut, control C, and it's going to copy everything that I have selected. If I go then back to my blank document, the third shortcut to show you is, is if we do a control V. Control V will take everything that we have copied and it will paste that onto the page. I'm going to do a second Control A here and I'm going to delete this all out because I want to show you how if I go back to my document here where I have all of this, I have it, I have it selected and copied or I shouldn't say I have it selected, and I have it selected. So instead, this time, what I'm going to do, because I can do a control C, I can, control, can do a control B. But when I do that, what it is doing is I'm, I'm actually doing two steps. If I do a control X on my keyboard, that takes everything away and off of my page, but it is also copied at the same time. So if I go back, do a control um, V, now all of a sudden what I copied, it copied and it pasted both with the same, with the same keyboard sh shortcut. So control A, first of all, it selects everything. Control C copies to the clipboard. Control V, paste, and then a control X actually takes the place of both control C and control V. The second, um, or the, I should say the second, the fifth thing I'm going to show you as a shortcut is control Z. So if I do a control Z right now, everything that I had done, it will um, go back one step. If I do a control Z again, it goes back a second step and I can conti continue to, to do that control Z and it just steps back one task each time. Now the sixth shortcut is control Y and what control Y will do, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to just type just so you can see because I, instead of always doing the same um, thing, let's go back up here. Let's hit return and I'm going to this time, I'm going to just type the word hello. So now what happens if I click and I do a control, um, let's do control Z. So I undo. Notice how my word is going away. But if I do a control Y, it steps me forward. So control Z is stepping back one. Each time you hit it, control Y is stepping forward. Now, the reason that you do these um, shortcuts is because anytime you move your hands off of the keyboard, you're actually slowing down the work that you do. So as, as much as you can possibly leave your hands on the keyboard and not have them on the, and moving back and forth from the keyboard to the mouse, that just saves, saves time. And then number seven shortcut that I'm going to show you is I'm going to click and I'm going to click if I can click with my mouse here. I'm going to click here in front of a word 
And as I click in front of the word, I can use the arrow key on my keyboard and it will go one letter at a time across my screen. If I want to go one word at a time, I can hold the control key down and I hit the arrows and now it's gonna go one word as a time throughout. Now it does treat um, punctuation as a word. So I go from we to are to learning, so forth. So again, the arrow key will take you one space at a time and the control arrow will take you one word at a time. So that is the um, seven different shortcuts that are available when you're using Word. And, and actually, these are available in many different types of software. So I'm going to close, just minimize these. Notice up here, kind of extra little uh, uh, shortcut, not shortcut, but information thrown in. X closes my window completely. The next icon minimize, uh, it minimizes or maximizes, so it changes the size on my screen here. Notice how that goes in and out. And then the uh, solid line there minimizes, so it takes it down to the bottom of my screen. So it's actually still active, it's still running, but it's just been minimized down to the bottom of my screen. So I'm going to go here then. I'm going to take it this back. I'm going to go to, for example, for with the web browser shortcuts now, I have all of these different tabs opened up. And I have these opened up on purpose so that we can go through and show some um, additional shortcuts. If I drew a control L on my keyboard, notice what happens is it goes up to the top of my screen and I'm up here in the, what is referred to as my location bar. Now with my location bar, the one, um, thing that I often see individuals do is they will take their mouse, click over that and, and like delete it out and then start typing. You don't have to do that because it's highlighted. We can simply begin typing right here and it's going to um, go to whatever the website is that we put in. So if I put in, um, I'm going to just do um, my Let's do my PC, PC, DL, well, now we jumped over here to Loom. Let's, just for the sake of here, let's highlight this one more time. Control L highlights that up here in my menu bar. And if I do my PC out, now notice what happens. What's happening is, is it's trying to jump to, um, it's trying to jump to wherever the last, um, websites that I was at is what it's doing. So I had opened up my mail. So it's jumping to um, my mail since I continue to type that in. But again, if I go my PCDLP, I got to be able to type PCDL. Notice how it puts the, the library there, .org. And if I, I can jump right to that, then is what I can do. Okay, so I'm going to go back and um, again, I'm going to control L to go back to my location. And I am going to put in Fox News. And I'm, I want to do this because I want, there's information that I want you to be able to see for um, the next um, shortcut, one of the other shortcuts down the road here. If I do control T, it's going to open a new tab. So I have my new tab that comes up. And if I do control shift T, so I'm going to go control and then the shift and T, it restores back to, so see it now it's jumping back to Loom, which is actually what I use here um, as I'm recording for you. Again, I'm going to take this back. I'm going to go back here for the sake of example. Notice I've got all these tabs opened up. I've got the Fox News. I've got my Loom that I'm reporting from. I've got my Putnam County District Library. I have the Putnam County Health Department page. And notice I also actually have some, and I actually have Google opened up. So I'm going to go back here to Fox News because the, um, 
kind of the bonus number 11. Now we had said we were doing the um, 10 window shortcuts, but I am going to do this final shortcut to show you is how if I would do a control F and this works in web browser, but it also works um, in Word documents and like I said, many other applications. I type, I'm typing in the word news. And notice what happens. I see one of slash 105. And the reason I did this and I wanted to do this in Fox News is because what it's doing is, is it's showing me every single time that the word news can be found on this website. And like I said, you can do the same thing in um, a Word document as well. So um, you could all search for a word if you know that you'd used a specific word in a document and wanted to find it. If I use my arrow keys, what's going to happen is, is it's going to jump then, or I shouldn't say arrow keys. If I use my enter key, it's jumping. Notice on the page itself right here is the word news and it's in orange there. It's kind of highlighted. Hit enter again, jumps to another word news. Enter again and it keeps going. So it keeps finding the word news throughout my document. Also, notice what's happening is, is the word news up above here is yellow. This one is orange. This one is yellow because it's any anywhere on the page that the word news shows up, it's highlighted. It's highlighted in yellow. But the active word that I am on is orange. So if I just keep going, Notice over here, this is a better example because you can see the word news over here and see how many times it's showing up because it's highlighted in yellow. And then this is the active one that I'm on right there. So that is the um, information of the shortcuts. I'm going to go back here to Word for a minute and I'm going to pull up this page here that I had close this up get rid of it and you can see my shortcuts that um, were sh were being shown to you throughout this presentation I have control a is the first shortcut that was shown I have that copies everything copies all control C second shortcut shown copy to the clipboard Control D will paste. Control X actually copies and pastes all at the same time, so you do not necessarily have to use Control C and Control D. And then the fifth one, Control Z. Whatever task you just did um, will come back. And then you can keep going back. If you continue to hit Control Z over and over, it just continues to go back. The same thing with then, same concept with Control Y. It re, it, you can redo a task. So in other words, if I got click happy with Control Z and I went too far one way, I can do Control Y and go back the other way. The arrow keys move you one letter at a time and then if you do control arrow it moves one word at a time these are all kind of centered around um, using any type of word or um, other type of documents that you might be creating and then when you jump down here to what is in blue with the um these are more centered around browser information so the eighth shortcut, Control L, takes you to the location bar up in your browser. And remember with that, you don't have to um, delete that and start typing. You can just type right over top of what is highlighted. Ninth shortcut, Control T, opens a new tab. Tenth shortcut is the Control Shift T which will restore any of the closed tabs that you might have. So you can always open up the new tabs along the way. And then 
The bonus shortcut control F brings you um, to a specific word and make note and with that, that it not only brings you to a specific word in a web browser, but you can do the same thing in word documents and such. So that is the 10 plus the bonus shortcut for this week with Microsoft Word and web browser information on a Windows machine. Next week, we will be looking at 10 shortcuts that are available using a Mac computer. So look forward to seeing you all next week. Hope everyone has a nice week ahead of them.